nice to see you all. Did you all have a good Christmas? Did you all have a fabulous New Year? Are you all ready for 2023? Because it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited because I know what's coming and you don't. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, 2023 is going to be a fabulous, fabulous year. I promise you. If you thought 2022 was good, <laughs> boy, you ain't seen nothing yet. You wait. And you haven't got long to wait, I promise. Okay, shall we make a start? The lives are going to be sort of... I know we try and aim for around 30 minutes, but to be perfectly honest, with the things that Lisa is bringing out, 30 minutes isn't quite long enough, so I'm aiming for sort of 30 to 40 minutes. So I hope that's okay with everybody. <laughs> right, so I'm going to be using some of the fabulous things that are coming to TV on Wednesday. And I know that Claire tomorrow is also going to be using some of the new stuff. Um, and I think she's using the Cosmos, where I'm using the Water Lily. I have a feeling she might be using Harlequin, where I'm using tracks. So, you know, you're going to get a good feel for everything that's on the show, really. I don't know whether you've noticed that Lisa's also done a couple of videos that are up on YouTube. They're, you know, Lisa's quickie videos. Um, she's done one of each, one with the Cosmos and one with the Water Lily. Both absolutely stunning. So I'm using the tracks and I'm using it a little bit differently to what it is here. OK, we'll come to that. I'm also using the Water Lily Flourish. This is stunning. If you've watched Lisa's videos, and I know she demoed this on Friday, it is so beautiful. The layers in it, the 3D embossing, it's amazing. It's just beautiful. It really is. This has to be, the Water Lily for me, out of this release, has to be my favourite. And then, of course, you've got the layering stencils. And the sentiment that I'm using comes from the Bold Words set. They just finish a card for me. And they're so easy. So, so easy. So I'm using those for my sentiment. Right. So I'm going to go through everything. All right. I'm stenciling. I'm going to die cut it. I'm going to emboss it. And then I'm going to add it to my card. I've already done my backing card and all the little bits and pieces that are going on my card to save me a little bit of time. So I wanted to do the stenciling with you. Now, the inspiration for this card comes from two people. Firstly, it comes from our lovely Donna. Um, because of the colours that she used. I'm not using the same colours and I'm not using them as boldly as Donna did. But when I saw Donna's card with the blue water lilies on, and if you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. I just thought all mine were done with um, pastel colours. And for me, that was that was just beautiful. But when I saw Donna's, I was blown away because the colours were just amazing. So... That's part of where my inspiration came from. And the other part came from Natalia. So it was a card that Natalia did and she did something in the background that is what I'm going to do on mine. So we'll come to that in a, uh, in a little while. You're welcome, Donna. Right, so let's get on with the stenciling first. I'm going to go with blues, as I said, because I really was quite taken with the colourway um, of the blue. But I'm not. I'm not going anywhere near as as bold as Donna did. Um, Donna's really bold with colour and I'm not. I'm a chicken really. Um, so we're going with the blue and I'm starting with surfs up and I'm going quite, um, not not too heavy, I just want this as a background colour. Um, but I've got to be careful because I think at one point I must have had green on this brush and if I, if I go too long without adding a little bit more colour my, my flowers tend to turn a little bit greeny which you'll see when I show you the, the base card. So there's my first layer. I don't know why I'm using my magnets. I don't need to. So that's my first layer. And I just love, I, I just love water lilies. I love water lilies anyway. But this set, oh, stunning. You'll also notice that I've turned my ultimate round. So my pegs are at the bottom. And that is purely and simply because of how my brain works. I like to see the flowers the right way up and these flowers, if you have your ultimate the other way up with the pegs at the top, the flowers will be upside down. But for me, brain wise, because, you know, it's getting on a bit now, 
um, I like to see my flowers the right way up so I've turned my ultimate round a little bit okay so now we're going to go with the leaves and the flourish now I did um and ah about what colour to do the flourish and whether to do it a different colour um, to the leaves but I've decided I'm not, I'm not going to do that um, I'm just going to stick with green for everything so I'm using my stencil brushes I'm using my stencil brushes on the leaves as well I'm going quite light because I don't want a really I don't want a really bold green I don't want it to be sort of really in your face um they are lovely aren't they val um i think if i was going to say anything about donna it's you can tell donna's cards by the colors because they are just they stand out for me um everybody's got their little their little thing that you can sort of identify their cards from um and i think donna's is is color so i'm going on here with my yellow I know I said I was doing it green. Okay, so I've done my yellow base. And now I'm going to go in with my blue. So I'll just put the lid on that for now. And I'll come in with my blue. Now, I always take quite a bit of the blue off because the Surf Up is a really, really vibrant um, blue. And I don't want it to overpower um, the yellow too much. And you see I'm taking most of my ink off the stencil that I've that I've sort of taken off the brush before I go back to my ink pad. Um, and that's just purely because I don't want it to be too deep. I want it to be green, but I don't want it to be sort of too overpowering, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I've done my green with my yellow and my blue. I'm going to lift that off there. Oh, I like that. That's really, really pretty. I'm glad I stuck with the green to be honest. So now I'm going in with number three. Now I'm doing two different colours with the water lilies. Okay, I'm going in with my surfs up on this one, and the other one's going to be purple because I just wanted them to be different colours. But you know me, I couldn't not use purple, could I? But I didn't want it to be all purple. And again, I'm not going overly heavy with this blue. Because whilst I want it to be, you know, nice and bright and, and definitely blue, I don't want it to be jumping out and, and sort of hitting you in the face. Okay. Oh, look at that. I think that's awesome. I love this. Lisa, you're a genius. It's official. So now I'm coming in with my purple. Always have a piece of paper to take your ink off, especially using the darker colours, because especially the purple, the purple seems to, to just sit on the brush really, really quite heavily. Um, so I always tend to take off quite a bit of ink when I'm using the purple, because you can always add it, make it deeper, but once you've added it, you can't take it away. And it's a shame to just go that little bit too deep if you don't want to so I'll come in with the purple I might just lift it off and see if I'm happy I might just add a little bit more no I'm gonna add a little bit more because I want it to be a little bit darker than this one so and remember if you're going round in circular motions when you're adding your ink to these stencils remember to go both ways and that way you catch both edges of the um, apertures that make the flowers okay Oh, I like that. I like it, I like it. Right, I'm coming in with number five. Now again, we've got green here. So I'm actually going to use the green of Lisa's, the woodland moss. Because it's dark enough to make a difference on top of my yellowy, bluey green. Um, and I want, it, I want the veins to sort of stand out a little bit. So if I lift that off. Yeah, so you can you can see there's a difference, but it's it's a subtle difference and it's it's sort of the veins are there and you can see the veins. They all stand out, but they don't they don't sort of spoil the effect. If you know what I mean, they're just they're just exactly what they're meant to be veins in leaves without being too obvious. And again, I'm using Lisa's stencil brushes because they're just 
perfect for getting into all these little apertures and again these little leaves on, on the swirls which is why I'm glad I kept the swirls the same green as the leaves oh yeah I like that so last one is just going to put my detail in here those little seed heads and I'm going to use purple um, on both of them just because I can really um, I suppose I could use blue on here but I don't want to I want them to be both the same okay I mean how quick and easy was that what 10 minutes it's just it's just perfect and you know that every time you move something you know you're going to be able to put the, the stencil back in exactly the right place and you're not going to have to worry so I'm just going to take our die and we're just going to pop this on here and we're going to run this through the die cutting machine and cut it out and then we're going to emboss it now I know Lisa does hers opposite to mine she um, oops, die cuts it then embosses it and then stencils it and you'll get a different look it's equally as beautiful it's just a different look there's no right way there's no wrong way it's a it's entirely up to you it's what you like it's whichever effect you like personally i prefer this one but i know lisa likes the other one so you know do whichever you feel happier with so i've just run this through here how gorgeous is that i'll take that off there later it's just beautiful 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 and the cosmos is equally as beautiful and i know when claire does hers tomorrow you know you're going to love that too so i'm going to add it on the um this is the deboss side and i always try and use the deboss side because i think it seats better you can see it better in the deboss side than you can in the emboss side so i'll just pop that in there and then run that through remembering to take a plate out otherwise i'll break my folder and i don't want to do that oh my word how amazing is that it's just the detail i mean if i show you the deboss side even the deboss side is beautiful if you wanted to just cut it die cut it and emboss or deboss and color the other side just with pencils or watercolors or whatever the deboss side looks equally as beautiful don't you think so i'm going to put the card together i'll just put my inks to one side i'm going to leave the platform here just because it's easier okay so here's my base card my eight by eight base card so and you can see here that I've done some stenciling in the background and I've only used, I think, four layers of the stencils. And I just wanted just a hint of the flowers in the background um, in exactly the same colours, but more muted, just so that it all ties in together. OK, so that's my stenciling in the background. And all I've done is just put my stencil down. If I take number one. So I put it across the corner and all I did was draw through a couple of the little holes and put a couple of marks on the edge of the sort of along the edge of the stencil so that I knew where to line it up. And I've just done that on all four corners. And that's really just to give me a little bit of interest behind the main flower. So my other little bit of inspiration, which came from Natalia, was the fact that she used um, some... I think she used the tracks folder to be honest and she used it just in strips in the background and I just thought it was brilliant just thought it was just so clever now I've got them two ways up all I did with this was I inked the folder and then ran it through the folder now I did it two or three times and the first time I did it I used a brush to brush the ink on the folder and it didn't work um, I, just, I wanted a softer look but to be honest because I've used the brush the brush has sunk into the into the recesses and everything and it, it just didn't work I'll probably use bits of this but I won't use it all so I did it again and I just swiped the ink pad over the folder now you can see that 
it's a better finish but for what I wanted today it's too dark so I took this out put another piece of card in I didn't re-ink and I just ran it through my um, die cutting machine again the embossing folder and then I ended up with this which is paler which is exactly what I wanted okay I wanted the pale to complement the pale in the background of the flowers okay so that's going to sit there and I've already put my um, 3D pads on the back just to save a little bit of time so I'm going to place these down now these marks here were butterfingers me um, I'd got ink on my fingers and I didn't realise um, so that's what the marks are but hopefully if I position my water lily right it will hide those marks so never worry that you've completely messed it up you can always get round it okay so I'll pop that one there or shall we use that one that side I think we'll use that one that side because I'm more likely to get rid of the marks because the flower's quite big this side and then pop this one in the middle so you see you don't have to use the folder in one piece and the beauty of this folder is it's already got the lines for you to cut down so it's sort of giving you its own guide as well so it's just it's just really clever folder okay I could have put that one a little bit further over I think but it's down now okay so I want to back this but I don't want to use black because if I use black I think black's going to be just a little bit too harsh so what I did was I cut it out of satin card which is the same satin card that I've backed this piece of tracks to so I'm going to back it onto there just to give me a drop shadow and that is going to tie in with everything else so let's glue that down I've already put 3D pads on the back of my um, shadow piece so that I'm going to be able to put that down and it's going to sit proud of the of the rest of the card. You know me, I like a bit of depth on my cards. don't like them to look totally flat because I think it's worth, it's worth spending a bit of time and sometimes it's worth the extra postage to make them look a little bit, a little bit gorgeous so let's take that off there let's move that out of the way i don't want glue on that do i and just pop this down here so that i've got a drop shadow behind that behind that beautiful water lily doesn't have to be much just enough so that you can see that beautiful satin card and this is one of my favorite colors of the satin card it's just divine so we just add that down there. Now, as I say, you can see I've already added my 3D pads on the back. So I just peel these bits off. And this is where, hopefully, I can hide my fingerprints. Okay, so I'm going to put this at a slight angle, primarily because um, it won't it'll hang over the edge of the card if I put it straight so we don't want to put it straight I want to put it at a slight angle but by putting it at a slight angle I've also lost the fingerprint marks haha <laughs> method in my madness now I said I'd use the bold words and again I've cut them in um, the backing piece in the same satin card so that it all ties together and then for this piece, for the, the actual words, all I did was coloured a piece of card with the surfs up and the purple, the um, spiced plum, just blended some ink together and then cut the words out of that. So that all the colours always tie in together. Um, and I, I think that's a really cool idea to just keep all your colours exactly the same because you could use a blue card, but it's not going to look it's not going to look the same, is it? Let me see, I've left a bit of, I'm going to cut that out of there. I hate to see my 3D pad behind my word. It looks, it looks nasty. 
So I'm going to take that out of there. Perfect. And then I'm going to stick that down there. And the beauty of using the bold words as opposed to the bold phrases is that you can put two words together to um, make a sentiment. So you could have put hello friend, fabulous friend, smile friend or hello smile or whatever you wanted to really. Okay. I'll just lift that up a little bit because it's stuck down to the base. But well, never mind, I don't think you can tell. How gorgeous is this water lily? It's just stunning. I just think this release, the cosmos, the water lily, the embossing folders, the harlequin boss embossing folder, I think is genius. Have you seen Natalia's card where she's made that like little singlet jumper? I think that's awesome. That is such a brilliant card. She's so clever. I don't know where she gets her ideas from, but it's just, it's so stunning. So there you go. I've used the tracks folder and the water lilies and I've put a card together and I just think it's genius. I just think the whole concept is just perfect. So, you know, thank you, Lisa Horton. You're amazing. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that, everybody. See, I have only done half an hour, haven't I? Um, I see in the group that people are... <laughs> That people are having trouble leaving comments on the blog. Um, I can only apologise. I have no idea why it happens. I have no idea why um, anonymous posters find it so difficult to post. It's, it's a blog thing. It's a blogger problem. They've always had problems. Um, and, and there's actually nothing I can do about it. I've checked all the settings and all the settings say that anybody should be able to leave a comment. So I can only apologise, but just say, keep trying. Even if you don't leave a comment on the blog, come back and leave a comment on the post that told you that the blog post was up. Um, and then at least I know you've seen it and you've read it and you've taken all the information from it. But um, there was particularly a lot of information in today's blog that I wanted you to be aware of. So hopefully you will have all been able to read it, even if you can't leave a comment. Um, and I will see you on Thursday. Thank you so much for joining me. I really have missed you all, and it's so lovely to see so many of you here. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I'll see you Thursday. Have a fabulous week, um, and take care of yourselves. Bye now.